Hello and welcome to a BMC 1971 video. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about Bella Parker, mainly about the dress that she's wearing. It is a strapless dress that I made. It looks really cute. It does up in the back with Velcro. Um, it comes to just below her knee, so it's kind of got a classic clean look, which is great for like if she was going to business meeting or taking business classes. That sort of thing. I paired it with a pair of pink pumps, which are from the closet. They are not the ones that came with her. I also put her f hair up in a ponytail off her face. Um, just, I like their hair up off their faces. They have such beautiful faces, so I don't like all that hair kind of hiding it. So I put it up in a ponytail. She has some nice curl left in her, in her hair, her candy floss pink hair. Which is kind of cool. Um, and then her diamond earrings. You can see them better because her hair is up off her face. So yeah. So that's Bella Parker and the dress I made for her. Which she looks really kind of elegant and sophisticated. Now I have a new background too. So this new background is um, like a Louis XIV print. Um, it is actually shelf paper that I bought at the dollar store. You can get different patterns. I had, you probably remember, I had a brick pattern which I used all December. Um, I have a chevron pattern which I haven't used that much. It's gray and white. And then I have a floral that is silver with whites and grays in it. And then I also have a stone one. Um, I haven't used the stone, I think I used the stone one in October for like all the Halloween stuff. So you've, pro you've probably, I think you've seen them all, maybe except the chevron one. But I'm always on the lookout for more, so I can make more backgrounds. I did use also, you can use wallpaper from wallpaper books. Excellent um, to use as backgrounds because they're nice and big. Wallpaper books are usually pretty big. So I can get, with this background, I can get about three dolls situated, um, enough that I can take a, a straight on picture. Two's better, um, one's even better. Um, I'm hoping to try and figure out a way to make a bigger background uh, without like seams. I don't like seams. That's my problem. I'm not really big on seams. So we'll see what we can come up with. I have used Bristol board in the past. Um, that works as well. Um, so you can get a nice big area. Um, and the floor. So this flooring, this floor is actually a placemat. It's silver. It's awesome because it reflects the background. So you can see a little bit of the pattern reflected. And then I get the hues, the colors, and even the dolls reflected a little bit in in it. So I use this a lot. This placemat is, I think I paid like a couple of bucks for it. So it's like this placemat has more than paid for itself. More than paid for itself. Because I, I also take pictures of Funkos. So I've used this a lot in my Funko photography as well. So, which if you're interested, you can go to at Funko Obsessed, Funko Pop Obsessed and check that out because I, I do do Funko photos as well. Uh, dolls are my new thing. I'm really excited about these Rainbow High dolls. Um, so yeah, so that's basically really all I had to say today. Uh, mm -hmm. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.